Pixel art is an art form that is simple yet far more complicated than what people actually think. The intricacy involved in designing the details, choosing the best color palette, adding the right shadings, all with a limited amount of pixels to paint, finding the perfect blend is not something you can do overnight. But there is a tool that can help you out with that. Super Pixelate is an algorithm that utilizes machine learning tools to help estimate the color palette of a reduced image and create a soul called pixel art with downside sampling. So by passing an image through this algorithm, you just have to specify how much the image size itself would be reduced into. And the more you shrink it, the fewer pixels there would be. But if you think that's all Super Pixel does, you are big wrong. The color palette estimation is the key for generating good pixel art in low resolution. When you have a palette size that's too large, then the image will contain a lot of unnecessary color pixels, which would make the result very noisy. But if your palette is too small, you may be prone to an oversimplification where details will be gone and it will be very hard to tell apart what is what. By specifying how big the color palette is, you can fully control how your result will look like. If you want a simple color layout, by setting the color palette size to a very low value can help you generate good simple landscapes or remove extra details to bring out the overall focus. If you want a piece of pixel art that has more depth into it, keep your numbers on your color palette high because this will ensure that the algorithm will keep the essence of the colors on your original image and not remove the minor colors that play a role in making the scene richer. And as you may have noticed, the color palette estimation is being estimated on an image. What that basically means is that when you play a video, you cannot estimate it on every single frame. Because if you do that, it'll look like this. So instead of doing it every single frame, I used the estimation of the color palette from the very first frame and applied it onto the rest of the frames. That is why there is a huge similarity in colors when you see my pixelated videos. So in a sense, you can also apply the color palette from one image to another. You would just have to mess with the codes that they provide. And also to display these low resolution videos and images, the reason why I'm playing it and it does not look like this is that because I am using a method called Called integer scaling. Integer scaling is a display configuration that ensures the videos or images would still be pixel perfect and that the pixels wouldn't blur together with the modern display settings when I enlarge the videos. This is also a method that allows retro games display on modern computers with crisp clean pixel quality. And overall, Super Pixelate really just does a great job at pixelating anything that you throw into it. And some of the results really do look like something that would show up on your game's loading screen in your Game Boy. And I also tested on some minecraft paintings too and it turns out some of them really do look alike this can definitely save a lot of time and energy for indie game developers too as they wouldn't need to spend so much time drawing and painting huge pixel backgrounds while having to learn how to draw them well but at the end of the day this is still far from being an actual pixel art as extracting real life images still cannot extract the key features of the objects but it can still sit as a very nice tool for people for their work or just for pure enjoyment. If you are interested in playing around with this algorithm and don't want to code, I have made a custom implementation for images and videos with a tutorial on how to use them. I'll link them both down in the description. And this video is brought to you by NordVPN. NordVPN provides you with safe internet browsing, workaround for region locks, and most importantly, privacy against your ISP. I really do find it convenient to hop around my virtual location to watch shows when I'm on vacation, and also to prevent people from chasing my location on the internet. From my personal experience, NordVPN is very poggers and this <laughs> From a personal experience, NordVPN is probably one of the smoothest VPN out there and no lags or internet speed reduction whatsoever, really just a service I appreciate I have as well as being really accessible with its cool and friendly user interface. And it works on Linux too, which is amazing. If you would like to support me while also using their services, feel free to use the coupon code BICLOUD or go to nordvpn.com slash BICLOUD to get a two year plan plus four additional months with a pretty nice discount. Lastly, thank you guys so much for watching, a big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that support me through patreon or youtube if you have any questions feel free to join my discord and ask there too follow my twitter if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one